Ram, one quick question. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Uh, no, so, uh, if I want like uh, any other topic, because uh, you are explaining uh, in your uh, like VM and all those things, suppose if I have any doubt or anything like uh, if you are taking any other batch, can I attend that one? Any classes? Mm, yeah, if you have any doubt, uh, you can attend. No worries. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Mm. So in last class we had discussed about HTTP server, IBM HTTP server we installed and configured also. And today the new topic JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. So let's see. My screen is visible, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So JDBC is is an API. API means application programming interface. Okay. It contains predefined classes and objects. Okay. So which is uh, used for to fetch the data data from database servers okay so the concept called is JDBC Java database connectivity it is uh, one one uh, feature of Java. It is uh, an API. So using this, we can connect the database servers. We can retrieve the data from database. Okay. So uh, see, actually, the process of JDBC is the importance of JDBC is the application servers never go and connect with the database servers directly. So there is no communication between application server and database server but we have de suppose we have deployed one application in application server so that application definitely uses some DB okay so because that application related information should be stored in DB servers only so for login for, lo for the registering some other user related information so everything will be stored in database servers so in that case application server should be connect with the database server. So here JDBC is the concept to integrate application server and database server. Okay. And here uh, the database, uh, the application server request the database server for getting the data through HTTP protocol. But the database servers cannot understand HTTP requests. Okay. So in that case we need a mediator between web server, uh, sorry, uh, application server and database server that mediator called as driver. Okay, so JDBC driver. JDBC driver, so this driver provides services like to convert the HTTP code or HTTP request request to SQL statements okay then the database server can understand And, and it gives the response to the client. Okay, so that is the job of driver. 
So the driver is the mediator between application server and database server. So whenever the uh, whenever the application server send a request to database server to fetch the data, so that uh, that request should be in HTTP only, because uh, the application server maintain HTTP protocol. So that protocol uh, taken care by JDBC driver. It converts the code. It uh, it uh, converts the request from HTTP to SQL statements and forward that request to database server. Then the database server can understand that request and it processes the request and it gives the response to the application server again. So then only the application can log. The, then only the user can able to access uh, can able to log in that application. Okay. So here we have uh, four types of drivers to convert the request. First one is JDBC, ODBC driver, or type one driver. Okay, and the second one is. JDBC native driver or type 2 driver and the third one is network servers or type 3 driver and the fourth one is Java driver or type 4 driver or thin driver Okay, so these are all four types of drivers available. The first one is JDBC ODBC driver or type 1 driver. JDBC means Java Database Connectivity and ODBC means Open Database Connectivity. So these two are the drivers to convert the code from HTTP to SQL statements. But this is Microsoft product. JDBC ODBC is Microsoft product. It will not work in Windows uh, Linux missions. Okay, it is applicable to only Microsoft products and Microsoft Windows. Okay, so here uh, we are deploying the WebSphere application server in Linux missions, and we don't use this ODBC driver in this on our environment. And the second one is. JDBC native driver or type 2 driver so this is used for native applications nothing but C and C++ applications but here we are deploying Java so we don't use type 2 driver also and the type 3 driver is network servers and or type 3 driver so network servers means we have to maintain some physical servers so the request comes from the application server to network servers then the network servers convert the code and it will forward that request to database server so in this the drawback is to maintain this network servers we need a separate team so that is not recommended we need to maintain uh, I mean a separate team that that is uh, uh, expense to the project so we don't use and the request also very slow uh, by converting the code by using network servers so we don't use type 3 driver also and type 4 driver is Java driver that means the Java application will go and connect to database directly okay and we can call it as type 4 driver or thin driver also okay so like this we will create and establish the connection with the database and fetch the data 
okay and uh, in websphere prospect 2 so how we can configure database with uh, application servers with the database servers okay so we have to do three things first one is we have to create jdbc 